Outside of outside of uh, the music realm, when you guys are like performing and whatnot, right? Do people call you by your first name or people call you Rock? No, people only call me Rock. What about you, Strain? No, people call me Strang, but I started people call me by my real name like recently, yeah. probably like 2019. Yeah. I kind of tell people like call me by my name now, you know. Okay. Is that is that more for uh to separate yourself from when you're rapping so that you could basically have a life outside of just just the rap stuff? Nah, it's just more cuz you know, not using your name is like disrespectful, man. My father gave me that name. You know what I mean? His uncle raised him. His uncle's name was Jack. So, you know what I mean? It was special okay. to him. So, for me to be running around and everybody calling me everything else but my name is like crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man, bro, like, that's, that's wild. <laughs> that's pretty deep. My pops done heard people call me Will, call me Starain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, call me everything but Jack. So, and plus, I do more business now, too. So yeah. I can't be having people like, hey, Starang won the, you know what I'm saying? Jack is more Yeah, that's that was, exactly. That was my point. Because I know, like, uh, like names mean something in certain arenas. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I introduce myself as DJ Rec because of the fact that I'm in these music uh, aspects or whatever, then it means one thing to those people. But then right. people that don't know me for music, that just know me personally, they know my real name. Like barely anybody really knows my real name. Well, now Facebook forced the nigga to put my real name out there. You know what I'm saying? Back in the, So all those people know my real name, but for the longest, nobody, unless you went to high school with me, knew what my real name, my first name was. Cause I've been DJ Rex since, you know, junior high school or high school. Uh, and not and not only that too, is like some places I get in because I'm Starang, but then they fuck with yeah. me because I'm Jack. You know what I'm saying? They say Jack is smart, Jack is this. So, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I might get in because I'm Starang, but I'm gonna stick around because I'm Jack. You know what I mean? Facts. Facts. Yeah, okay. me personally, it's like, you know, I um like I chose rock, like like I chose the name Rock. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's like like my name, the translation of my name, it's an Arabic name and the translation of it means handsome or beautiful. And that's dope, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? But but um I didn't know that until I was already a grown ass, grown ass, <laughs> yeah. grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I probably yeah. learned that in my in my late thirties. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, I probably okay. learned that. Like, and, you know, I didn't, like, it's, I built up a disdain for my government name as a child. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, uh, it was, it was, I didn't like it. Like, and, and it probably don't even really make sense at this point, right? But, you know, <laughs> when you were, when you were a kid, right, you, um, like, this, and this, this is, this is wild, right? As a kid, you just, you don't, a lot of kids don't want to just, they don't want to stand out. They want to fit in when they're a yeah. kid, when you're a kid, right? So, you know, I'm first starting in school, but it seemed like, it just seemed like all of the Derricks, you know, like all of the Mikes was pretty cool. All of the Robs was kind of tough. All of the Derricks was kind of soft. I'm, you know, no disrespect to any Derricks. <laughs> right you know what I'm saying? Ain't no disrespect to, 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 to any Derrick I know now. But all of the Derricks was kind of, all of the Kevs was kind of cool. All of the Kevins, they kind of was athletes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and my name, I didn't see my name. Like, you know, I didn't, I didn't see no representation of my name. And then as soon as I did see a representation, representation of my name, he was a poor specimen in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? He was a poor uh, specimen, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I had a yeah. rough, you know, and I'm being politically correct because I'm grown and yeah. grown. And if he, if he watching it, he would, he know exactly who the fuck he is, right? But I'm saying like, yeah. I had a rough as a child. He clearly had. It seemed like he had a rougher than me. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? And yeah. so, you know, like so, and, and and because of that, you know, being a child, and you know, when you kids are mean, 
and shit like like I was mean to that kid, all of that. Like he was a, like you know it, it was it was just crazy, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. as soon as I came up with a name for myself that was really me because I yeah. went through a bunch of names. I didn't, you know, rock, if JB rock wasn't first. I had names before yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Rap names and shit like that. But when yeah. I came, once I came, once I came up with a name that was really me, because I really was hard, son. I was a yeah. hardcore nigga. I was tougher. I was <laughs> yeah. nigga. I wasn't, I wasn't this skinny, son. Like I would, yeah. I would pick a nigga up and throw him on his head, son. Like, like, like real yeah. talk, son. Like, I was that, so that name fit me. And throughout my life, you know, I might not be that version of rock, but I'm a whole lot yeah. of other versions of rock. I've consistently been solid, yeah. you know what I mean, throughout exactly. my life. You know what I mean? And to be uh, handsome, all right, whatever. You know, I, don't call me that if you know, dude. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I mean, whatever. But you know, I, but also for me. Like I wrote my first rhyme longer when I was 11 years old, right? So yeah. I've been like I've been an M. I've been a rap. You know, my journey to being a rapper but like longer I've been a, than you've been anything else. Th than anything else, longer than I've been a a, a fucking quote unquote a, an adult, uh, a gangster, uh, uh, whatever the fuck uh, those other titles I put on myself. I've been yeah. a rapper longer than all of that. I am this nigga. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? And that's hard for it's hard for a lot of people to understand that. A lot of people want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they would like to separate the two. But if I, you know, yeah, there's some separation. But I mean, my daughter is named after me, Raquel. Yeah, yeah. You understand what okay. I'm saying? Like, like you think my daughter? You think when you ask my daughter what her daddy name is, she gonna tell you my government name, or she gonna tell you Rock? That's what's up. You understand okay. what I'm saying? My, my mother called me Rock. She respected. Yeah. She know I'm. She think I'm not really her toughest kid, but she think I am. You understand what I'm saying? Hi, I'm the Rockness Monster, and I'm here to let you know that I'm on Cameo now. Are you familiar with Cameo? It's a website where you can reach out to some of your favorite celebrities and have them send you shout outs, personalized birthday wishes, wedding congratulations. You can even have them quit your job for you. And now I'm there. You can use the Cameo app, or you can go on Cameo.com or the Cameo website. Find me there and make your request. We also have special requests for business. You know, if you want your mixtape dropped on or your album promote, any promotional things. Special pricing for that. See us there. Rockness Monster on Cameo. Rock on. Rock on. Look, my wife be calling me Wreck. Uh, it's, uh, it'd, be, it'd be funny when she says it, though. Anyways, hold on. Give me one second. Let me change out this. I got to plug my iPad up. Hold on. All right. While you do that, I want to mention um, that we have, we do have a cash app. You know what I'm saying? For anybody who want to support Monster Monday's podcast, you know, it's dollar sign, M-O-N-S-T-A-M-O-N-D-A-Y-Z. P O D C A S T. That's Monster Monday's podcast at Cash App. Look out. You know what I'm saying? If you're feeling generous. It's <clears throat> generous. Excuse me. Yeah. Damn. You did it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. <laughs> I like that about you, man. <laughs> like that about you, bro. Yeah. DJ Rack, you good at this, man. You good at this asking questions and shit, DJ Rack, man. man. I like I'm, that about I'm trying, you, bro. bro. I, I didn't realize I was going to be interviewing you guys for real. But you know what I'm saying? I'd have you asked some good questions, hard. man. <laughs> you asked some good questions, man. And try, man. All right. Yo, listen, oh, man. This will be chopped up anyways. The, the audio will be chopped all the way up. You know, when you ask for a good story, I should have told you the something about Mary's story in ATL. We can do that. Don't be putting my business in the street, man. Don't be putting my business in the street, yo. Yo, I said there's something about Mary's story. You didn't have to, you just affiliated yourself, man. That's the, that's the same thing you said when I said Just affiliated yourself with the story and incriminated yourself now, man. I said the Boca Raton story, you said the same thing, nigga. 
No, you asked me. You said, yo, did I? Did, should we tell him the Roger and Tom story? No. You started yeah, getting we, French. <laughs> no, you started I getting French on us. No, no. What I asked was, did we talk about it before? You said we, right? Okay, all I right. Said we. <laughs> so what? I could have talked about. That's this all I said. You started getting French on us. Wreck <laughs> not gonna know about no Boca Raton. You ain't gonna Boca Raton with Wreck. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we told Wreck. I told. We, I feel like we told Wreck about Boca Raton. Uh, is that is that where the uh, where somebody had to take one for the team or whatever? And, and it was like a, a short. Uh, like yep. a uh, yep. little yep. person, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I was right, you understand? Yeah, what I'm saying? yeah, so, you was right. No way he can know about that, if you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, something about Mary yeah. is funny, <laughs> 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 something about Mary's story, baby. We're gonna do that another time. <laughs> Let me see. Up. Listen, man. It's just traveling with the boot camp, man. Is wild, man. All right, this is what you want to know, man. This is what I'm gonna tell you, man. It's wild, man. Different personalities, <laughs> man. People want to do what they want to do, man. All right, can't do nothing, oh, okay. man. It's like playing on the Patriots, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like playing on the Patriots with Bill Belichick. All these rules, bro. You know what I mean? You just want to break out and do your own thing, man. We're wearing sneakers was a big thing, man. You wear some sneakers, you getting getting fined, man. All right, motherfucker, what? you get penalized, bro. All right, shit was wild, man. We was living rough. We live rough, right? All right. Now look, nah, look. we in the dog the hill. We smoke. We in the dog hill. We smoking in closets and shit. You know what I mean? You don't know about that, wreck. You don't know about eight, nine niggas in the closet smoking and shit, exactly and the first one pass out. You know what I'm saying? That's the nigga got to do something. That's the nigga get penalized for the day, man. First nigga pass out can't take it, man. You don't know about shit like that, right? The, the anything to get a little, the, the anything to get a little higher sessions. Well, you don't know about quiet. reading books. You don't know about reading books, man, to get knowledge, man. You don't know about smoking when you roll it. You know what I mean? Niggas leave you a bunch of weed. You don't know how to roll, man. You fucking shit up. You fucking smoking Dutch masters and white owls up and shit. You know what I mean? Rock was the last nigga to learn how to roll, man. I was right before him. <laughs> I was right before him, Rack. That's what you don't know, Rack. That's hilarious. You don't know about this boot camp life, nigga. You don't know about this boot camp life. You don't know about this Bucktown USA life, bro. Shit real, bro. Shit real. Now, you don't know about this. You don't, you don't know. Look, 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 you don't know about. I was a private. I was a private, wreck. I, I was look. a fucking private. I'm, a, I'm a motherfucking captain now, wreck. I'm little captain time. Look, look. You don't know about showing up late to a event and having to do push-ups. Right before you got a rap, now you gotta do you gotta do push-ups. Oh right? wow! And you was late and shit. And listen, bro. listen, no, but listen. Not only that, right? If niggas got bitches back there, whoever back there, somebody moms, niggas making you do push-ups and shit. Right in <laughs> you front come of in, he's like, yo, yo. Nigga, yo, yo, you gotta do these push-ups. He's looking around, there's bitches around and shit. You like, damn, nigga, like come make you do push up right here, nigga. They like fuck <laughs> it, man, do these push-ups. You're just like, damn, nigga doing push-ups when niggas saying shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't know about that, right? You don't know that about that. comedy. Yo. That's comedy. Yo, the hotel room situation used to be crazy, B. Like, like, that nigga Ruck used to go to bed early most of the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was on his old man shit. Wow, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Wow, early, and the nigga used to snore. Real bad and shit, right? So, oh hell yeah, like, <laughs> hell yeah! <laughs> like I remember one night. Thank you for listening to Monster Mondays podcast. Please join us every Monday from eight to ten p.m. West Coast time and eleven to one a.m. East Coast time. Every single Monday, Monster Monday on the Dash app. Also, check out these awesome shows from the rest of our podcasting family. Funny Farm, East New York Radio, All Elements Mix Show, The Star Power Collective, The Cosa Nostra Radio, 5150 Mix Show, Block News Live, Final Coffee Mix Show, and Hidden Gems. Check them all out under the delicious.
Delicious Vinyl Radio Station.